Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark. I'm with Steve. We're in beautiful Prescott, Arizona, and uh, we did a cool shoot yesterday, right? Yeah, we did a great shot with yeah. our new Karma drone. Yeah, and Steve, so Steve's going to share that and do a do a little effect on it. A little effect on it. Yeah. All right, all right. Take a look. So this was a shot from the newly acquired Karma drone of us sitting on a pier on this placid lake in northern Arizona. And as you can see, it's a really, really nice shot. I'm going to just play a little bit of it. It's just beautiful. So happy with that drone. It's just so easy to use. And I thought, you know, this is a great shot to turn into that miniature tilt shift effect where um, where the, the subject looks miniature. Okay? Yes, yes. And so uh, I'm going to Go ahead and do that with this shot. So I'm going to move the playhead right about here, and I'll uh, open the effects browser and go into the blur category. And I'll go ahead and throw on a caution blur. So there you see everything's blurred out. Yep. All right. So in the inspector, you can add a mask. We're going to add a shape mask. And the key here is to turn this into a square shape. I'm not so much worried about the feathering right now, but I want to get a giant rectangle that I can essentially place over us sitting on the pier. And of course, the mask it's needs to be kind inverted. Of the opposite of what you right. want, right? So back in the inspector, I'll go back up to the mask button. I'll just, boom, invert masks. So almost immediately, and I'm going to go ahead and turn off the overlay. So almost immediately, we get this miniature look. Yeah. And, and the reason why it messes with our perceptions is when you're shooting objects on a table, like a miniature, really small. It, well, the depth of field is just really, really narrow. Really we shallow have, depth of field. So right. everything out will be out of focus. Right. Everything, but, yeah. in, everything in front of the object will be out of focus, Behind. and everything out on the other side of the uh, of the subject will be yes. out of focus. So it just and the only way we accept this is that we're used to seeing this. Uh, we're, our mind is trained to see things that are that are close up with a really shallow depth of field. Yeah. That's why. We can sell the shot as a quote unquote miniature shot. Right. So, uh, a couple other things I might want to do to sell it a little bit more is maybe kind of center this a little bit more. And uh, I can play with you know, the amount of the, the transition from blur. But the one last thing I would do to sell this miniature shot is press Command 6 to open up the color board and then go into the saturation pane and crank up the saturation, just boost it up because typically when you're shooting toys and miniature things, they tip, typically have like a... Little like models are painted. Little, yeah, they're like painted, so they look like hyper highly saturated. Highly saturated. So um, let's quickly look at a before and after. So there's the shot without the mask. There it is with the mask. And it just... it. It makes us look like we're on this little. So if you play through it, yeah. play through it, and then it's yeah. like a little set. It's a little, it's a little <laughs> set, and there's a little tiny Mark and Steve sitting on a pier <laughs> doing a MacBook Studio episode. <laughs> so, the, nice. so there you have it. Yeah. Simple. Use a mask and do a tilt chip effect, right. and quick and easy. Quick, quick and, and easy. easy. Yeah. All right. Great. Excellent. So Ripple training for uh, more of all this good stuff. Follow us on the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and you'll get this information sent directly to you every week. We'll see you next week on MacBreak Studio.